good morning let me turn down the steve harvey morning show it is hump day gotta make sure ain't nobody coming out behind me it is wednesday i am documenting some things um <clears throat> i need to edit <laughs> and actually I, I think a video went live without a thumbnail which was yesterday or today is today the 25th i got i think so if it's the 25th the video for today needs a thumbnail basically so i gotta do that today i that's a reminder for myself but anyhow good morning i hope you guys are doing good i know right look at that i'm in a bubbly mood i think today i woke up with the um feeling that today's gonna be a really great day I'm gonna be able to get some things done, have some positive outcomes. And so today I'm speaking that into existence. It is 7.38 in the morning. And so I am speaking that into existence of all good news today on October 25th. And the reason I'm doing that is because I am feeling that today's the day I'm gonna hear, oh yeah, you know, this happened, that happened. So yesterday I went over to the house after work, me and Big. And so, you know, the, the, the pipes and stuff that were not done because the HVAC stuff got done. Um, when did the HVAC? Like two days ago, I think Monday. Yeah, Monday, the HVAC guy came out, put in the tubes, did what he needed to do. The air conditioning is up, the thermostat, all that's done. <sighs> I'm just, I'm waiting. We're like patient, patiently waiting. Like we're this close to the end of the road and it's just, it, it's just, uh, it feels good. I have a busy day today work-wise. I have like four meetings, but thank God there's like breaks in between each meeting. So it doesn't feel like I'm just meetings all day long. So that's a plus for me. Um, my first meeting starts at, I think 10.30 to 11. Then I have a break and I, and I don't have a meeting until about 1, 1.30. Then after that, I have a three o'clock to four. So yeah, and this is usually like my focus hour right now, like where I'm focusing on like my emails, making notes, doing all that stuff. And then I use this time as well to kind of be a part of my own personal stuff because that's balance, right? That's work-life balance. I know that getting up in the morning and making sure that I go grab my coffee. I did my skincare routine. Like I told you guys, there's no makeup. The only thing I got on is eyeliner and mascara. Mm -hmm. I went to Ulta yesterday. I went to Burlington Coat Factory and I went to Marshalls. In Marshalls, I found, well, what I was kind of looking for. I didn't go overboard. I ended up picking up a skirt in Marshalls that I'm actually wearing. Um, it's a denim skirt and I'll pick I'll put a picture up here somewhere. Um, I got some boots from Burlington Coat Factory. So comfortable. They're this chocolate like snake skin lamb boot and it's high. It's cute. Love it. Um, I felt comfortable wearing it. Like I didn't wear it out yet, but I have tried it on so I could show my sister. I took pictures. So I'll pop that up here too in a second so you guys get to see that. Um, and then what else? Um, I got some stuff for scrubbing your feet and stuff, like your heel. Like I, I needed some stuff because I'm gonna be honest with you, y'all. I haven't had a pedicure in so long, and this, like the maintenance, the self care. It's like there. I'm still doing self care, but some parts of my self care is lacking. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Some parts of my self care is lacking when I'm done. Hi, can I get a large um, hot coffee, four creams, and three pumps of toasted almond? Four cream and three toasted almonds? Yes. All right, what else can I get you? And then can I get a sausage and egg croissant no cheese? Thank you. 
there was nobody at the line. I was literally the first person in the line at the drive-thru. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. One thing is also I can't do sitting in the um, thing. I need to go to the gas station. So I need to go back that way or I could go right here, but I don't want to go there. I'm gonna just go to this gas station. Um, yeah, one thing I will say is I've literally like enjoyed every um oh there goes the sheriff. Oh that's the canine fella. Yes. That's the canine fella. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, Starbucks. I'm leaving it to the girls who don't like coffee but want all that fancy crap they put in it because to be honest with you starbucks is just espresso that they throw into your coffee it's, you need like two to three cups of that to really make the um, coffee go where it needs to go um basically my favorite was a caramel macchiato that has been always been my thing i usually get that extra hot caramel macchiato is this where mcdonald's is yeah this is where the gas station is Nobody's coming. Yeah, perfect. And now I can go straight across to the gas station. Yeah. So, no. I'm back to my Duncan. Um, I got up today and I felt like I got up early, big left for work. He usually leaves like around 545 ish. I got up. I was just browsing on the um, threads. I love threads. I've been on there. If y'all want to come follow me on threads, it's life with sin underscore 78. It's the same name on there because it's also the same name on my Instagram. So if you want to come follow me or even just come say hi, just do that. So I was on threads. I'm making friends over there. I'm, you know, talking to more people and getting interested and stuff like that and they got this thing where people are like algorithm do your thing and find me the people that I want to connect with and you guys know I'm a life coach and so um, I've been put in like algorithm find me like-minded people that want to seek life coach from for any reason any kind of personal development um, I explain what kind of my, my niche is wellness and um, mindset so that's my niche like it's all wellness and personal development and so yeah you know i teach you how to be stress free how to navigate your stresses i also teach you how to um set goals and like obtain those goals not just setting them and writing them out on a piece of paper i actually literally go through your goals with you step by step so that we can both achieve something because one my achievement is that you're happy and you get what you paid for and you out of this um program that you join with me that's just how i see it i don't even know if this is a parking space but let me tell you i'll be parking right here at this little gas station thing and i don't even know if it's a parking space but we're gonna run up in here and grab us some stuff and i'm gonna be right back breakfast sandwich i did buy a banana because i needed the banana and um i got my straw but let me put my straw in my drink that way when i'm ready for it i got it i got my coffee i got my purse i'm gonna turn the heat down and uh I'm going to go upstairs. I look so good. Like, I'm telling you guys, no makeup. My skin looks really, really good. So happy for that. But, yeah, I got to go. I don't understand. I put lotion on and wash my hand and just, it's a, it's a mess. All right. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> good morning. It is Thursday, October uh, 26th. Yep, October 26th, I am, it's breakfast time or coffee time because it's Thursday and I also need to head to Duncan. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm on my way to Duncan. Um, still in my pajamas, but you know, we're going through drive-thru. Do the thing. So, 
sad story. I need some air and I don't want to put on the actual air. I need to get gas because my gas tank is like almost to the E button. So we gonna go around here and grab us some gas. And I was gonna do it last night, but something told me uh do it in the morning. So there we go. That's what we're gonna be doing in the morning. It is 724. Um and I'm supposed to start work at 730. So you know we gonna wing it. We are going to wing it. We're gonna get some gas. What I got in here could get me to the um Dunkin Donuts and back, but I might as well go ahead now and fill the thing up. So yeah, we gonna we gonna do that. Um So yeah, uh, they got his car broken into his truck. They broke into his truck um, yesterday. No, day before yesterday. Yesterday morning, he had called and told me that they broke into his truck. And so 